Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to Hallelujah Acres. This is our next segment in the garden and today we're going to talk about corn. And George is detained so I'm going to be trying to cover this for you. Um, one of the first things we need to do is to start with uh, planting our corn and there are a couple of things that you can try to do depending on your situation. Uh, traditionally people would plant corn in a row and they would just um, scrape down in a row and then they would take the seed and they'd plant it down at spacings that were uh, six, eight, ten inches apart and you can put just like one seed in each and then you can cover it up and water it in and wait for it to germinate. And that works fairly well, but you can also, um, in order to uh, give you an advantage on watering, you can take your corn and you can plant the seeds um, more specifically in groups. And what I'd like to do is take and plant the corn and put it in a rectangle and you can put four or five seeds and I take and I poke them right down into the soil and you can put those seeds down one or two inches and that'll be fine cover them up and again water them in and let them germinate. The difference is when you plant them like this you're going to put these groups about a foot and a half to two feet apart so my next one if I leave my first one I'll mark it right there I would make my next one farther down the row up here and I'd put out my five seeds I'd poke them down into the ground just like that cover them up and I'd continue on down the row. When you do that you're basically planting just as many seeds and you're allowing just as much soil area and nutrients for the plants to grow. It just allows you to um, concentrate your watering in smaller areas. Once our corn is, uh, starts to get established it comes up and it's going to get to be about a foot or two tall and then we need to do some more side dressing. So let's go to a section of the garden where we have some older corn. Uh, once your seed starts to germinate you're probably going to want to um, put some fertilizer on there and uh, we use an organic blend here and you can either take that alongside your corn and just side dress it in like this or you can even put it over the top of the ground as you plant the corn and water it in that way. So either method will work and usually again we try to put mulch on everything after we've got it planted but the roots will spread out and go towards that uh, fertilizer side dressing and that will give them an extra boost. Okay so here we are with some corn that's um, several weeks old and you can see it's about a foot and a half to two feet tall and at this stage it's important to side dress the corn with some extra nutrients and uh, give it another boost to help it mature. Um, if you have really good soil one thing you can do is simply to go out and do a little bit of tilling with a hoe just to stir up the soil and get those organisms that live in the soil excited and get them to release some of the nutrients that are actually stored right there. And if you notice our soil is pretty much just red clay so we don't have a lot of nutrients stored in there. So what I like to do in order to try to build the ingredients in that soil and make it more nutritious for the plants is to add some compost and again this is just like the side dressing we did earlier. I spread it across on the surface just in a light layer and try to get it in the area around the roots of the plant. Once I've done that I might go back then and add some straw to help keep it from drying out. And after all this is completed we certainly would want to water it in again because we've disturbed the area around the roots. And after another month and a half to two months we should be ready to harvest. So let's go take a look at some corn that's at the mature stage. Alright so here we are in a section of corn that has been here for about two and a half months and so we've already been actually harvesting this corn for um, the last week or so but we still have some ears out here. Um, at this point we are seeing a little bit of damage from the birds and there are some worms getting in there. It actually seems that the worms, once they start into the corn, attract the birds and then they find that tasty corn and they keep going. But once the silks dry back and they reach this stage here, usually your corn is about ready to harvest. And that's roughly three weeks after the uh, tassels appear on the, uh, the silks and the tassels appear on the corn. So if we, we can peel this back and show you what the corn looks like. It's a nice yellow corn. It, this variety happens to be called candy corn. Um, 
and it's pollinated fairly well. You can see it's got nice uniform rows. There was a little bit of lack of pollination at the end, so the tip didn't get done, but you certainly could make a you know, good usable meal out of that corn. Um, I've got some other examples here to show you what happens uh, if the worms get into your corn and you don't treat it with BT or some other method. Um, and the birds get in there, and if you can take a look at this, you can see how the birds found that tasty corn and just kept right on going down the cob. You still could cut this part off or even break it off and still have plenty of good usable corn on there, so it's not an entire waste. If you have problems like we did earlier this year where you have a lot of heavy rains, you may have problems where you don't actually get good pollination. The corn only produces the pollen for about a week's time and what will happen is you'll end up with a length of corn where you don't have um, the kernels are not actually developed. The silks have already dried and it looks like the corn's ready but it hasn't actually been pollinated. So that's something that you just have to watch for and one thing you can do if you have a real small field is when the crop is shedding the pollen you can actually just lightly uh, shake the stalks and the pollen will settle down because corn is pollinated by wind and if you have uh, the wind is blowing strong it'll blow the pollen away but on a calm day you can just shake it and let it fall directly down and, and make sure that your corn gets pollinated well. Um, at this point we're pretty much ready to harvest all this corn and make the best use of it that we can and then uh, get ready for another crop to go in the ground. Okay, and so thank you for uh, tuning in with us to this version of the Hallelujah Acres Garden segment, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.